Hello and welcome to the first in a set of tutorials for XFX Toolkit version 2, now with added object tracking. If you haven't got the plugin pack installed, please follow the link below. Version 2 now brings over 70 tools to Final Cut Pro 10, and we're going to run through each of the different sets of effects. We'll start with the newly added tracking pointers, and you'll find those in the title browser. Let's add the simple arrow pointer to a heli shot. Command 4 opens the inspector. All the plugins that have tracking have the instructions loaded at the top for reference. The most important control is the mode. The majority of plugins have this set to track, and that's what we'll do first. Go to the front of the effect. Place the bounding box around the object you want to track. Here we've gone for a window on one of the shops. Then press the track forward key on screen or in the inspector. You'll see the track window open. This visual reference is a good way to see that your track is on track. You'll also write the tracking keyframes. Next, we will go into the edit template mode in the inspector. Now we have access to the on-screen controls in the viewer. Let's go to the middle of the title. We'll place the arrow first and adjust for size. Then place the text where we like. Although the elements will follow the track, you can move both to wherever you want on the frame. Press play and you'll see the pointer now follows the window. At any point you wish to retrack, no problem, just go back to track mode in the inspector. Also, depending on your footage, you might like to add keyframe smoothing to the track. Let's go back to the edit template mode. All of the pointers are highly customizable and the controls are all listed in the inspector. You can change the pointer size, color, and shape. Text can be any size in any font and any color. The optional box behind the text is resizable and has controls for color and opacity. To make the pointer stand out, there is also a drop shadow that acts on all of the elements. As we said, all the tracking pointers have the same functionality, but the controls on the graphic might be slightly different. Here we have the dot pointer on the left and the cage pointer on the right. The cage pointer has additional controls to vary the X and Y placement of the cage corners. One tip here, press Option or Alt on the keyboard to gear down the adjustment when you drag the parameter. So please check the five great new tracking pointers in XFX Toolkit. It's a free upgrade for all existing users. In the next video, we'll be looking at more plugins that have had tracking added.